Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this video was not so much a project, but it's much me refurbing this compressor about four years ago now. Um, back then I took lots of clips and videos of me when I on the project when I was doing it up. Um, so first things first, this vessel obviously has no powder or anything on the inside of it. It's just uh, bare metal. So I inspected the inside of it and I seen surface rust on it, which I'm just kind of really pernickety, as people know. So I have tumbled the compressor or the vessel, the tank itself, for about um, four days or five days, I think, as far as I mind. I have these pumps is all done up and they're all powder coated, as you will see in the videos, um, or the pictures at the end of the video. And um, so that's really it. It's a simple video to show demonstration of mainly tumble in the tank um, to clean it. So what I have done is I have made a, my own uh, media just using basically uh, I think it was like coarse sand, sand plastic and grit and actually with screws so metal objects um, like nails and what else paraffin oil um, so it was like a mixture um, and it, the tank was tumbled using a wiper motor of a car connected to one end of it and a bearing the other end and the pumps and obviously and all were took off it so as due to my I don't know OCD or whatever these pumps um, was a year old and the whole compressor was a year old when I got it so I wanted to leave the compressor better than they are when they're new. They come quite the corrosion on these pumps and stuff, so they come bare. Um, so I powder coated everything uh, on the compressor itself. Um, this tank is all done up too. Um, this label this used to used to be a ABAC or ABAC compressor. Uh, it's an Italian compressor. Shimal is another. Don't know if it's a same. It's the same company, I think, as ABAC, as far as I know. Um, it's the same as Newer now. I think Jamal came after ABAC and it is now called Newer. So we're now going to do demonstrations off the video. Tumble on the compressor. Then I will step through um, images at the end and talk about um, doing up the pumps, the motor, everything else. I will also show uh, the tank um, using the inside of the tank using an inspection camera. Um, before and after. And you will see, I have tumbled this tank on its flat from here using media. So the media obviously rolled, spun, and sort of carved, not really carved as such, but just took the, the top coat off the nice steel and a steel inside it. So then, obviously, this here is like a bevel or dome type. And I have I left the compressor up on its end, and I like a I think it was a 45 degree angle and then tumbled in an angle and then I tumbled it in the opposite angle so I done this end and that's really it so I hope you enjoyed the video it's not so much a project but it's interesting oh. here we have a tandem compressor and I'm going to show you a way of tumbling it to leave a nice um, take off oil surface rust inside the tank any of that may be there, there's partly surface rust in areas so I'm going to show you a wee demonstration of the tumbler going first of all I'm going to show you the media that I've used which is screws, wood screws a full box of dry lining wood screws uh, in the box we have a lot of these stones but there's about a couple of handfuls of lead in it um, it's like a grit, it's on uh, stones even, it's on tarmac and then we have, what else is on it too? Oh aye, sand about, say about um, a quarter of a bucket full of sand bass and grit and so that's three types of media that's in it, screws, stones and the sand bass and sand this is a wiper motor here on the tumbler itself with three bearings 
the hoses on it to cool the motor because the motor would get slightly warm if it's a wee bit small for the job. Because the weight of the medium side is a wee bit hard to start at times. Just with the need a lot of torque. And these wood bits as they balance out these channels here that the pumps would use to sit on because if they weren't on it would be fresh water in the motor. Just to create, create a balance in effect, you know, just like a wheel in a car. Now I'm going to show you it working. It's been going now for five hours. I'm looking to leave it running for approximately, say about 40 hours, 30 to 40 hours. And then we'll see what it looks like inside the end of our inspection camera. Okie dokie. Just leave these from this side here. Hopefully the motor lasts, lasts up. But the, the coolant on it there is doing a really good job because it's keeping it nice and cool at the minute. Oh yeah, that's right. The wiper motor of the car is run off a power supply. We still have both DC power supply. Um, that's another bear at that side. Oh, right, and the two bears. There's we like uh, nipples made up and welded on the, the shaft to fit the bear. So, hopefully, in um, two days' time, or more, day and a half now, even, the tank will be nice and smooth inside. Even though it wasn't that bad anyway, but I just want it perfect. Okay, so this video clip um, demonstrates uh, tumbling with no uh, bits of wood uh, screwed to the legs, so you can see the imbalance. You can hear it. This clip um, shows the, or you can hear the media in action itself. Um, at this stage, the outside of the vessel was already done up, um, ready for the pumps and stuff to be added. Once it uh, was tumbled. Here we are coming one end of the tank. Uh, the last part needs done in the tank. Pumping the compressor to get the end done. One end only at the moment. The middle of the tank and the, the whole cylinder is done. Apart from the two ends. Where you can see it's done up to about here when it was flat on the ground. Now I'm trying to cover this area at the far end for the meantime. Okay, so this was initially uh, testing the compressor or the first time the tumbler was ever used. Um, as you can see the added weights is already attached with no media. Okay, so this is when the compressor arrived, one year old. You can see it's in good condition, but not perfect. Here I removed all the components, pumps and motors. Ready for soda blasting, sand blasting. So this is um, stripped. You can see the corrosion on the pumps and the motor layer at that point, and the pulley itself for the pump. Again, um, washing the oil, removing any oil and grit um, for the meantime before start blasting. Obviously the porch is all covered up. So the next set of images is of the tumbling process itself. This is inside the vessel before tumbling, so you can see the surface rust. So I wanted to inspect to see if there was any pitting to the tank itself. This is the vessel before tumbling. Um, this is the media, you can see all the screws and the balls has come together. Actually worked very well. Uh, here we can see the vessel tumbled for about six hours or a day. I think it was close to a day maybe. Um, you can see the media line to one end, so this needed to be sorted out by level the actual tank itself, the vessel. Here we can see the vessel nearly finished, um, apart from the two ends. So at this stage, all the media was removed. 
um, you could see how effective the pump on process was. The entire tank inside of the vessel was then uh, coated with a special wax oil liquid. So this is one of the pumps uh, soda blasted and painted uh, with a hammerite silver paint. So the pistons were not removed during this process as it would only complicate matters. At this point both labels were attached back to both pumps. So here we have um, soda blasting to the head of one pump. You can see it's half done. Uh, the pulleys and the coolers, air coolers are also done at this stage, um, ready for powder coating. The pump itself was all intact and the ports were closed off for blasting, as can be seen there. Um, intake and exhaust was important to be closed off entirely, so no sand or media could get in here the piston. Here the head is one of the heads procured in the oven. Okay, so the head on the left has been powder coated and the head on the right is ready to be powder coated. This is the cooler before it is powder coated, before it's placed in the oven. Uh, the cooler on the left here is powder coated and the one on the right is ready to be powder coated. Here we can see one of the motors before it is blasted with all the corrosion. Um, here we can see one of the motors blasted, that is nice and clean, ready for painting. Obviously we can't place this in the oven to powder coat it, so this is why it has been painted. Um, the motors are painted with a gold hammerite paint, which I find hammerite to stick the heat uh, better than ordinary paint. So here we have um, one of the heads in the oven uh, being cured. Uh, similarly we have uh, one of the coolers in the oven uh, ready to be cured, the early stages. So here we have one of the guards of uh, one of the motors um, blasted and ready for powder coating. So the powder coating machine I used years ago was in the natural static. Um, uh, this was powdered with a black base and then I added orange flake to it. The orange flake was put into the lacquer as can be seen in this image. Um, a really nice finish. So this will obviously never rust again, um, moisture will never get near that, or near the steel. So here we have one of the barrels that are ready for powder coating. Um, this needed to be a plate put on top of the barrel to get the powder from entering. So they were hung in the oven like this with the plate um, so the powder could come to the barrels. Uh, a black base and an orange flake sparkle was used as a top coat and that's basically it finished. So then bores was then honed. Okay so this is assembling the pumps and the motors again before installed onto the compressor itself. The vessel. So here we have the heads which are actually changed to candy blue which I didn't I forgot all about. So the mirror was removed and the candy blue was put on top of the heads instead. And the then were attached to the barrels of the compressor, the twin pistons um, barrel. Um, this is a picture of the cooler uh, itself, also attached to the heads. Again, the uh, same. Um, so this is ready for the new parts, such as new gaskets and new reed valves and all the extras that are required. So there's actually no reed valves in between the head and the bore at the moment and the barrel. Here we have all the parts, the new parts for the pump uh, reassemble. Um, there's new gaskets. Uh, them's also the feet for the compressor himself. So this, these bores was um, both honed um, to leave it a nice crisscross, um, it's 30 degree 30 degree crisscross and there was new rings placed on the pistons themselves.
So let's just um, ready for the heads at this stage. Oh, sorry, the reed valves here. So there was nothing really wrong with the reed valves that were on this compressor, but I just replaced them. Um, brand new ones. Um, completely nuts. So this is the pumps we finished. Um, both pumps, identical pumps, uh, complete, ready to be placed on the compressor again. So you can see there, there's also new bubble gauge or oil level gauges too. Uh, all the bolts is replaced with stainless. And again, um, another image of the pumps. And again. Just to show the amount of work I went through to get the pumps up to the standard. Um, so I would say moisture is not going to do them any harm anymore until the paint is sort of. But it'll last a lot longer anyway. So this was actually before tumbling. Um, the tank was cleaned and any marks rubbed out of it using GF compound. Um, obviously it doesn't need sprayed because it's a good powder coat and finish on it. Um, this is the motors reassembled. Um, this is the high pressure pipes being attached back onto the compressor himself along with the motors. Uh, this is just a stand that you can see me jumping up at the start of this video which the compressor is held on. Uh, this sticker was completely renewed. Uh, this graphics um, to there now. And, um, this is the compressor completely finished back four years ago, five years. Obviously it doesn't look good now, it's covered in dust and dirt, but it's still really good. No corrosion. So everything was replaced in the compressor more or less, or done up, and even down to the feet that the compressor sits on, were powder coated. That stand there now is galvanized, it is not yellow no more. The platform at the head of the compressor is held on. There are four rubber mounts there um, to reduce vibration on that stand. Them bungs, them two inch bungs in the compressor, somebody who was previously using the Stolson to tighten them and slacken them, they left them all damaged, so I replaced them and put new bungs on. Inspection bungs. So that's the bungs that I have inserted the media into the vessel itself and removed it. And it's obviously where I take the air output from the compressor itself at the right here in this image. So that's it. Um, that's the final image um, of the compressor refurb. A lot of work over the top, but it's unique. Thank you for watching, everybody. Um, Come back soon and there will be more interesting projects, um, projects that I have created myself. Thank you.